Let's talk about ankle sprains for athletes. So let's start with what a sprain is. So a sprain is where a ligament becomes overstretched or it tears. There's different grades of a sprain. You can get a grade one, which is just a little bit of overstretching, a grade two, which is like a partial tear of that ligament, or you can have a grade three where there's a full tear of the ligament. Based on the type of sprain that you have, it usually has some implications as to whether or not you may need surgical intervention or you just need more time and more rehab in order to get you back to 100%. So what happens if you let your ankle sprain go and you don't do anything about it and you feel like, ah, if I just give it time, it'll heal on its own? Well, what you run the risk of is developing what we call secondary problems. So here's what some of those are. First one is called ankle impingement. So especially when you have that low ankle sprain and you decide to do no rehab, don't do anything about it, don't pay any attention to it, this can develop. Basically a little piece of tissue or cartilage can break off and it can wedge itself right in between the ankle joint and then it can pinch anytime you go to cut or jump, run, or do anything that's more vigorous or sport related types of activities. This can become nagging and it can expand or push your treatment out even longer if it develops. And this can, is something that can last not only for months, but even for years, we've seen athletes be stuck with this. And we have to go in and do a different type of treatment to get rid of it. Also, we see changes to your gait. So people will walk different, they'll behave different because their ankle's not as strong as it needs to be. And because of that weakness, which usually manifests in the calf muscles and some of what we call our ankle everters, they're the muscles that move your ankle outwards. If that, those areas are not rehabbed appropriately, it will change the way you walk. And when you go to push off for every step, you won't have enough power to the other side. In turn, you can imagine what this will do to your athletic performance. It'll drop the performance level. So if you can't generate enough power or force off of one leg and you play a sport that requires you to jump off two feet, you're only gonna get 50% of the power that you're supposed to be getting. So you also wanna make sure that by rehabbing this appropriately, you're addressing any key performance issues because if you return to sport too soon, you're not gonna be even close to the athlete that you were. And then last but not least, you run the risk of recurrent sprains. So this is the other thing that tends to happen. People will say, oh, I sprained my ankle. And then, you know, six months later, they'll return back to sport, you know, maybe after a couple weeks, but after six months, they'll re-sprain it and they'll keep re-spraining it. So by the time patients see me for uh, an ankle problem, they've already sprained their ankle three, four, five, six times. So if you feel like this is happening to you, you need to reach out, get a consultation and get this thing sorted once and for all. So now we're gonna apply sprains to the ankle. So it's really important that you delineate and figure out which type of sprain you have. So there's two common types of sprains you can have at the ankle. The first one is a low ankle sprain. This is where oftentimes where people will roll their ankle off to the side. Most of the pain will be on the outside of the foot here and it'll just be achy, it can be sharp. Sometimes it can be difficult to walk right afterwards. Um, this type of sprain is kind of an easier sprain to treat. It doesn't require as long of therapy or as long of uh, time off from activity versus the other, which is called a high ankle sprain. So the difference between a high and a low ankle sprain is obviously one is higher, but the location of the pain is higher and it's also different. So a high ankle sprain will typically hurt right in the center here. So the ligament that actually gets stretched in this case sits directly in between the tibia and the fibula. And it's, it's a syndesmosis, which means that it's just a sheath that kind of sits and keeps those bones connected together. So when a sprain happens and it's really, really bad, it will create a gapping in those two bones. So the reason why it's important to delineate between the two is management is completely different. A low ankle sprain, you don't necessarily need to brace it or create a compression higher up in the tibia and the fibula. However, if you have a higher ankle sprain, then something like an air cast or any sort of compressive device to keep those two bones pushed together is really important in the beginning to help that ligament stiffen back up because of the laxity that was created from the sprain.